So we all need sodium hypochlorite when we do root canals. Um, sodium hypochlorite is what really dissolves the tissue, the pulp tissue in the canals. So we know how important it is. But a lot of us, and I was included in that group, would just go down to the grocery store and buy some Clorox. And a bottle might say 6% uh, sodium hypochlorite. So I would think that's what I needed to get. And many of us learned to dilute it over time. So if we had 6%, we would dilute it by half and come up with a 3% solution. The problem with that, from what I've learned, is the actual concentration of the sodium hypochlorite in that Clorox bottle is very variable. Depending on how long it's been in the source shelf, the experience that bottle had as it was in transit can affect the uh, actual concentration. So we may think we have six, and maybe we dilute that by half thinking we have three, but what we've actually found doing this research is that we could have started out half as strong, maybe 4% or maybe 3%, and we split that in half and now we're down below 2% sodium hypochlorite. So how do we get around that? We actually use irrigants like this sodium hypochlorite from Vista Apex that is designed and regulated so we know that we're getting either a 3% or a 6% solution. Now is that a, an area that we want to compromise on as we're doing our root canals? Sodium hypochlorite is probably one of the most important parts of us doing a root canal because it gets all that diseased pulp tissue out of the canal. No, we don't, want to, we don't want to sacrifice with our sodium hypochlorite. Now we know as we take our files down into the canals, we're cleaning out the main canals, but all the small canals, the lateral canals, and all the canals that connect in between those main canals are left uninstrumented. There's no way we could get a file into all those areas. So research has shown that anywhere from 35 to almost 50% of the canal surfaces never are instrumented when we go in there with our files. Well, how do we get the bacteria out of those areas? We have to use our sodium hypochlorite. So we're gonna be talking about a few different irrigants and how we get these irrigants into those lateral canals. But this is uh, from Vista Apex, the 3% sodium hypochlorite, also available in 6%. Now, there's different ways that that can be delivered. You can use a big bottle like this, pour it into a cup, draw your syringes, or you can take pre-filled syringes of sodium hypochlorite in a three millimeter and the 12 millimeter or the 3cc and the 12cc pre-filled syringes of the sodium hypochlorite. And again, this sodium hypochlorite has a shelf life, but you know during that shelf life that you've got that concentration of sodium hypochlorite that you need to do successful root canals. All right, so we, we got into the canals and we, we started to clean them out. Now there's all this dentinal mud in there, all this stuff, the smear layer that's plugging up all those lateral canals. What do we do next? We use our EDTA. Now the Vista Apex EDTA is specially formulated. It's 17%, but it's optimized at an 8.5 pH. That pH has been shown to give us the most effective cleansing action of our EDTA in, in the canals. So what we need to do is we need to get this down in the canals and we need to remove the dentinal mud and open up all those lateral canals. And then we can go back in with our sodium hypochlorite and that sodium hypochlorite can then get into those lateral canals and clean them out even better. So this EDTA step is very important because we have to get into those lateral canals. The 8.5% pH is very important because that's the optimal pH for cleansing. All right, so we've done the sodium hypochlorite, we've done the EDTA to open up the canals, but we know there's still some bacteria down there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flush the canals out with water to remove the sodium hypochlorite EDTA residues if there's anything left. And now comes our chlorhexidine gluconate. Now this chlorhexidine gluconate is 2%, but it's not just chlorhexidine, it's also chlorhexidine with surfactants. And these surfactants increase the effectiveness of, of this chlorhexidine. And studies have shown that it will kill the bacteria two to 10 times faster. So it's much more efficient and because it's chlorhexidine, we have the substantivity of that effect for hours. So the chlorhexidine plus is what you need to use, not just your regular chlorhexidine, because it's gonna be more effective due to the surfactants. All right, now it gets even more exciting. <laughs> so now we have Chlorextra. Chlorextra is a 6% sodium hypochlorite solution, but it has surface modifiers, surfactants in it, that help it work even faster you're gonna get faster tissue dissolution by up to two times. You're gonna be able to get the uh, solution in and it's gonna lubricate your instruments even better than straight sodium hypochlorite. So again, this isn't your Clorox. This is gonna be a regulated 6% sodium hypochlorite, but with those surface modifiers or surfactants that will increase its effectiveness. 
Now, the nice thing about the, the Chlorextra is you have a bottle, and with the bottle in our office, what we would do is we'd pour it into a cup, and then typically take a syringe and draw the solution out from that cup into a syringe and get it ready for use. With the Chlorextra, what we have is we have the lure lock attachment that we can screw onto the top of the bottle, and now we get rid of a step of having to pour the solution into a cup and then draw it into a syringe. Just being able to directly attach the syringe to the bottle, drawing it, the solution directly out of that bottle, and now it's ready to use once we put our favorite tip on there. So this Chlor Extra is uh, gonna increase the efficiency of all your root canals. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how the next item that we'd use is smear off. So in a typical situation, what we do is we use a straight sodium hypochlorite, use an EDTA, we'd rinse with water, we have to remove the sodium hypochlorite from the canal before we apply this, the chlorhexidine. Well, what we're able to do now to increase the efficiency again is we've got the lure lock attachment, but we're gonna go from the chlor extra straight to the smear off. Now the smear off is gonna replace our EDTA and our chlorhexidine, and we don't have to have the water rinse in between. We're not gonna create any kind of precipitate. So the smear off is a two-in-one solution. And by doing this, we're gonna be able to optimize the effectiveness of our disinfection of the canals, getting rid of that tissue, open up the lateral canals, treating the surface with the special surfactants and the smear off so we get better penetration of our sealer. So we are able to, to take our four steps, take it down to two with just the Chlorextra and the smear off.